Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Last part, in the previous part there, Zidane was a complete moron and I freaking was really pissed off. But it's, that was yesterday, he's recording if I recall, so I'm pissed off at him right now. So don't do anything to piss me off again, Zidane. I usually just run away. And you're a pretty good fighter, Eiko, although you were the only one that was remained knocked out by the end of the battle. Jamie, thanks. Hey, how come you can summon Eidolon's Eiko? I thought you could too, Dagger. Well... Not usually. Hey, have you always been able to do that? Of course, my grandpa and everyone else did it all the time. What do you mean? That's not the way to my house, that's the way to the life tree. This way to my place. He was only looking at the mountains. Lifer tree? I thought it was called sanctuary. Is it Leafa or Lifa? I'd, I'd say Lifa, because Leafa wouldn't that like be going more like L E than L I, huh? Oh, that's what the dwarfs call it. Everyone else calls it the Lifa tree. Lifa tree. Let's go. He goes a. All this. Yellowstone is that dragon. There you go. I'm not particularly sure what it's for. We lost the previous one, so I have even less idea what the hell it's for. It's over here. Treasure chest over here. Alright. What have we got? Ether. Oh shit, I ran out her. Oh, uh, what? What the hell? Looks like he's wearing a freaking tutu or something. What the hell? Oh shit, I forgot to heal everyone. Oh, fuck. How could I forget the most important thing? Heal your freaking team! I mean, holy shit, how could I forget something so damn and freaking important? I am an idiot. I thought that after the boss battle we'd get straight to that place, so I was kind of like... Well, I guess I forgot after the battle anyway, so yeah. And I'm on to Don, finish this up quickly. Ow. Potion! Oh shit, I forgot about that. Finish it. No. This thing is tougher than I thought it would be. Someone's gonna get boned. Ah, get stopped. These are attackers, though, you son of a bitch. What do you have to attack him for? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Indeed, he do. This spot is clustered, I apologize. Potion! 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 We can do this! Don't attack the dawn now. How many hits are you gonna take? Oh shit, who's targeted? Bibi! Oh shit! Yeah, baby. Damn it! Why? Why are you such a dick? Ah, oh, man. Bitch. There we go. Stupid tutor. Tutor. 
tutu flower wearing practice flower thing I'm a diggy. I don't even know what the hell that was. All I know is it wasn't very pleasant. It was most unpleasant. So, uh, you know, let's use an ether here. No, an ether, I say. Oh, no. Ego. So that Ego can use cure on everyone instead of us wasting a bunch of potions. So, Ego, I uh, use Cura. See, just instant full recovery on everything right there. Which is good. So if we run into any little random encounters, we don't have to worry about a thing, because we'll kick their ass. Did that just... No. But I always said that was that. You know, no my luck, we won't even run into a random encounter, so it'd be completely pointless using that. Are we there right now, actually? Yep, totally wasted. Well, actually, no, it's not completely wasted yet, because we still got to freaking get to the area, which is over there, I guess. That's it, isn't it? I think. Was it? Yeah, that is just perfectly designed, isn't it? I mean, it just looks like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it'd be an area you could go to, it just looks like part of the scenery, really, doesn't it? Sedan! This is my home! sorry. I really can't come up with a voice for two female characters, damn it, it's very tough to do that for me. You live here, it's a pile of rubble. Is there a pan blue there? Dagger. I'm not sure. I don't really know the differences between different types of flutes. What's happened here? This place isn't ruined itself a lot. My name is Sare, a village of the lost summoners. Kabo, kabo, kabo! Mocha, mo. Oko, chi. Momo, chi momo. Kabo, kabo! I'm a to. Oh, it's Morrison. That's just a random name for a Moogle right there. Moogle Morrison, Kupo. Where's Ma? No, Ma got eaten? Ma! Incoming Moogle! Goop, goop, No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Goop, goop, Something that I skipped. So don't follow me. Follow the flying Moogles. Wasn't that a freaking accordion? Is that an accordion in the freaking background on the music there? Get to work. But, uh, whatever. Kupo, yes, ma'am. Some of this dialogue goes by fast. Oh, you stay here with me. Kupo. Okay, come on. Kupo. Kupo. Holy crap, what? Miniature Moogle. Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog always stays with me. Kupo! Okay, whatever. So long, come sit over here. Hey! Tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Sure, I want to know more about you too, Echo. Really? For instance, the Edel. Where are you from? How old are you? What, what do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is... What kind of foods do you like? What kind of metal ones do you like? What type of movies do you like? What type of girls do you like? That's a lot of questions, one at a time. I've never met anyone like you before. 
Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Uh, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? You and Dagger view really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. Well, you're yeah, more than friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. A team? Yeah. Bibby's also part of the team. Hey, where did he go? Is it sort of like me and the movies? Uh, it's something like that. All clean, Kupo. Thanks, Ho Ocha, I'll be right there. I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? Yeah, I can't come up with a voice for Eiko, because I can't really do variation in female voices. So it'll probably be similar to bringing daggers one, I guess. There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. After time events, Ribby's feelings. You know, it looks like he's holding on to the... Wait, he is, isn't he? Just leaning over, just like looking out at the distance there. Just hands on the, uh... The, uh... 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 I guess it'd be the equivalent of a safety rail, I guess. But it makes it look like he's just... Like he's just like gonna use as a fishing rod or something. I don't know why. Mr. 288 told me that they understand what it means to live and to die. And it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Poor Vibby. Then it just goes back to the accordion music. I mean, what the hell? No little time. Okay, whatever. Let's go up here. Where'd Queena go for that matter? You know, where is Queena? Dagger's feelings. I read about it in the book once. The tribe that possesses the power to call for Edelons. Edelons. The moment that I had Edelons inside me didn't bring me any joy. While we were in prison, I used the Edelons she stole from me as tools of war. Before I would heal my Edelons, and Kujo was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Now, it must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. And flutes. You know, when it seems like that happened, the reason I don't really say anything about them is like to avoid accidentally spoiling anything. Is it? We just know that two treasure chests up there. I forget, how do we get those? It's a restricted area. Kupo. Restricted? What's that then? Kupo? What is Queen doing up there? The guy in this place only rocks and sand. I eat star and once but sand here not good. What it looked in. <laughs> Hey, don't take it so hard. See, he's a special case. Yes, yeah, special indeed. <laughs> that was really random. 
just like just jump down there and then jumps down the freaking water. Water will clean, so I'll just jump down into it randomly. Jeez, what a duck. It must have been like this for at least ten years. What can Echo possibly feed us? Rocks? Echo's feelings. So we had Dagger's feelings. Now Echo's feelings are. I like this music, by the way. Hope it doesn't start skipping a lot. And there was like the thing with Vivi as well, I guess. Thanks for cleaning, you guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my heroes at all. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Sedan and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger has been slow to catch on to Sedan's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Sedan what a good homemaker I am. Kupo, it might work if you cook good food. But Ego screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I never have like a distinctive voice or anything for any of the movies like. I know, that's why I can't screw up. You're all gonna help me. No! I'm sleepy. You're all gonna help. I'm gonna cook my specialty, rock fisted potato stew. What the hell? Coupeau, yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad I thought my pom pom would fall off. Yes, stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Coupeau, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. Sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fisted potato stew and barbecue fish. Let's see. Where we should go fishing. Oh uh, man, I don't know. Mamatos. Uh, I mean, yeah, mamatos. I mean, why not? Go, mamatos. Kupo! We should go take up the papers. Ah, uh, Jimamo! Go, Jimamo! I don't know if it like, has any difference or anything. Kubo! Won't you, you help me in the kitchen? Kupo! Can I make the right decisions? I don't know. We don't like give their personalities or anything, so I don't know. The reason I chose the first one that you go like fishing, I don't know why, but it's just like with a toast at the end of its name, it's just like, oh, just like, no, no, that doesn't make sense, I don't know. So, whatever, I don't care, we'll just start cooking. Let's start. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. I don't know if I made the right decisions on those choice things there, but I don't really care. Should go well either way, I hope. Receive Libra. Ah, another Stel... Lizio, whatever the hell it was called. Ikuze. Hello, baby. Baby. What's up? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Sedan. I'm gonna stay here and think about it some more. But I just told you to get some rest. And not think too much about it. I want to see if I can get those damn treasures, but I don't know how to get them. How did the Queen even get up there on the side? I want those treasures, but I can't get at them. No. No. Lost it, I can't get over there. 
Well, no, we got over there. I mean, I could look it up, but I very much can't be asked. Oh, wow. Maybe it's like if we. I don't even know how the hell that. How the hell we get in there. Agra went this way, didn't she? Yeah. Let's go check on her. Oh, Dagger, why are you standing over here in the entrance wall? I feel so anxious. Oh, I know that feeling too freaking well. Oh, so very well. I hate that. So I can relate to that, Dagger. But your feeling anxious for different reasons that are not going to be explained just yet. Receive attention. I don't want to spoil anything. Pretty much none of the characters in game really know. Would like know why a dagger is like, you know, feeling like that right now. So yeah. Coupeau, please, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Echo says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Elan Wall in the meantime. Please follow me. We have to wait until he goes off the screen before we get control of Zidane again. What the hell? Hold on, I've got an active time event. There goes kitchen. It's this music again. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. That's the quiet boy Vivi. I guess I should cook for Dagger too. And all you guys, Mark, Moko, Macha, Shimono, Mamados, and Morrison. Three. We put water on for all the people I listed. I'll get the ingredients. Goopo! But if you count Queena, which he doesn't even know is there, it'd technically be 10, wouldn't it? Okay, so, uh, How many people do I need to count for Goopo? 10. Ten people, Koopo! We gotta include Queen even though he doesn't even know Queen is there. Potato, potato, pumpkin barn, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in that envelope I found in the Gundy Petit mountain path? Uh... Yes, apparently. Thanks. Here goes the oglob then. Let's start. Let the water go in, a good chicken assault. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, a good chicken assault. Lots and lots of nuts. Oglob for seasoning. I caught one, Koopo. It's heavy. Koopo! Are you okay? Mm -hmm. That mocha cooking land our hand. Keep stirring, Mocha. Don't let it burn. This is big. We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, no. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> A wild Queena appeared right there. Queena is like a magic cop, only uh, it's like a magic cop if a magic cop was as strong as a Gyarados. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Mo Morrison. Moko was a very was very proud of his role as the Edlon World Guard. Because the decision to show the Edlon World to outsiders upset him. But we Mogos let they go, he'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Edlon World has been protected by Ego's Summoner Tribe for generations. Summoner Tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger so you can use summon magic. Is that true? Uh, 
minute. Let's do that. But I want to get those treasures over there. How can I do that? Can we like launch Queener over there? I mean, she was able to climb on top of that. So why not? No. I'm such a lock. Oh, dagger! We have something to show you. How's it going? I walk right fast. Hey, dagger. Come with me, I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Imagine if he didn't add uh, that to it, just be like, oh yeah. Summon magic. Yeah, it's called the Adelon Wall. To the Adelon Wall we go. I feel a burper coming at some point randomly. Oh, you're that Alamoogle, aren't you? Ego and her people protected the Edelons well for generations. <coughs> there is. The Moogles also helped Ego protect the, the wall. Don't mess it up. Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Well, it's obvious that there are no more on Daily Dive. How's it going? Please come in. The Edelon Wall is this way. I will be your tour guide for this evening. Okay, yeah, just show it before we even freaking enter there. The Edelon Wall is a collection of paintings that some have tried painting all the Edelons they found during their research. These Edelons all exist. Coupeau. Hey, look on that Rick and Boogle's face, he looks all serious. This is a holy place for the summoner tribe. Lady Echo comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. Incense. What's this one? There's Atlas. Atlas. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Dagger? I... We'll get it back. Bahamut, man, he's a badass freaking summoning. I want to look at the morrow some more. Okay. So, how's it going, Mogul? The Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They considered the Edelons guardians of the planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now... But now I won't finish my sentence. Where am I? You can't see Jack Brickety shit. I can't even look at these walls right now. I don't know most of these evidence. I guess we leave for now, I guess? Pad news. Active time at Ego's Kitchen, Volume 2! Well, just 2, but whatever. You use good bait. Pale white hair, strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're Kuja. Zidane, look for a man named Kuja. I call Queena. Oh, you chased Mog uh, uh, on the kind of a team out of path. I make her. Mog don't ever come out while seeing she, 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 he's around. Hello. Well, good. What the frick, Gal? Don't eat anything. 
The heat too low. You can cook. It's my destiny to pursue a way of government. This must be a helper from above. Ask Queena for advice. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. It's the dance group, the Mughals, and we make 11 people. Oh, 11 then. I counted one. Or did I? You make food for 10 people now. It's too little, it's not enough for me. Oh, I see, I, I, I think it's because I like forgot to count the uh, echo in with the other ones, I guess. Is heat only strong enough to make food for 9 people? It was not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you a very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guest's very hungry. It's not enough food for me. I not cook if I not eat. We catch more fish. Good pull. Strange, it's usually boiling by now. We need to turn up the heat, but this stove isn't going to get any hotter. Coop up, coop up, What about Vicky? That's right, he's a black mage, he can use fire magic. I hope we catch a lot of delicious fish. Maybe he'll do the job, he knows fire as well as fire. He's the man for the job. But I just want to figure out how the freaking hell I get those treasures! I can't get out the treasures! Why? You know... We got all these moogles here, yet none of them freaking can be used for the save point. I need a freaking save point so I can use a tent, damn it! Why? Uh, wait. This is... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, baby, anything. Nope, still the same thing. And... Kupo! Ah, so you finished. Welcome to the Han. Have a seat. This food's gonna be gone so fast. Vivi, help me too. <laughs> Let's eat. Looks like he's prepared for battle rather than eating. What the hell? How is it? The stew tastes good. The fish tastes better than it looks, but it doesn't have much meat on it. Hey, Echo, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding on the ground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with Mughals ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about at me. I'm really happy here. Kupo, Kupo! Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mum and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like, because they died when I was very young. I see. I'm like a beautiful young hero in hero in, in Turmoil, don't you think? Ah. You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Sadan, my beautiful shooting star. Whoa, ah! 
What is it? Don't interrupt me. There's something in here with feelers. An old glove. Don't you know that all gloves are a kind of petite delicacy? Coupeau! So, so, are they all the moogles get anything to eat? Uh, let's eat the fish, that should be okay. Yes, like, forget we just saw the all club there. Thank you. Thanks, Iku. That was really good. You know, the way that said echo there, it kind of like sounded similar to echo. A little, not much though. See, don't you want to eat my food every day? <laughs> like that. Just with her foot, just like. Uh, maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you! Help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. Is she mad at you, Don? Oh man, I've been there. One time I just like my ex like made food like that, and I was like, Ugh. and then just like all pissed off about it. It's like, well, it's not my fault, damn it. Recited to meet you, my beautiful shooting star, from this book. Can you believe this? This is a first edition. I've only ever seen one at the castle library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? Because she, her tribe has been here for 500 years, perhaps. So it wasn't just staggering. The gun is really slow, too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. Hey, were you just saying something there, Ego? I'm just gonna go talk to Queena and the Google down here first. Hey, Queena, you wanna eat some plates? Queena, you wanna eat these plates? You wanna eat them? You wanna eat plates? This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Google. Zidane, I'm a great discovery. These fish different from this continent fish. So, we catch fish. Over and over again until we get everyone. Is there something on my face? Did he just headbutt the plates? Thanks, Zidane. Could you leave it here? There, here, whatever. Hey, Echo, do you know anything about the life of tree? What about the life of tree? Do you want to go there? It's sealed with a nettle on you, can't get in. Sealed? You seal it, Echo? Look at the way he's looking like that. Just like, looking forward like that, but because she's so oh, short, it just looks weird. Well... So he's sharp about certain things. Echo, will you break the seal for us? What? No way! It's not like we're gonna do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way, are you crazy? You fool! You foolish monkey boy! I'm trying to look for a way to get up get to the top of this freaking place so I can get those treasure chests. I don't know how to get across it. I honestly have no idea. No idea. And loops. Hello. Maybe I'll, you should get some sleep before you go. Oh, thank you, Mr. Moogle. Thank you. It's about freaking time a Moogle offered me some freaking 
Time to get some shut eye, you know. Oh, wait, there's a scene that comes up during the night, isn't it? Yep. Vivi. What? This scene gonna develop like? Vivi's just sitting on the steps there, and Zidane's just like, Vivi. What's gonna happen in this scene? Find out next time! See you next time, viewers! See you next time!